So it's Sunday night, uh, just me, just ran out of time to record. So I thought something a little bit different this weekend because we went to a similar place. So it's been a bit of a funny week weather-wise. Uh, by Friday, um, good dirt. So Friday evening, I rode at Centennial Park. Um, Centennial Park near King City, I've talked about before. It was beautiful weather. Um, just excellent riding uh, nobody there zero other riders like proper loam nice lovely uh, evening no bugs yet so it's excellent the only thing about the centennial is some of the corners get a little bit sandy and slippery which is slightly uh, not slippery sandy so you kind of hit them and then your front wheel kind of washes out sideways it can be a little bit disconcerting so um so yeah lovely evening not too cold i started wearing a long sleeve because of the poison oak and the mosquitoes the mosquitoes love this english boy uh for some reason so um so yeah i did a complete lap of centennial all of the loops and then i did the high line the blue high line that was excellent um which i thoroughly enjoyed um yeah so that was that and then on saturday we went back down to niagara went and did some of the bruce trail um bruce trail is excellent um but you have to be in the mood for it so last time I talked about the Bruce Trail we went um, just trying to think we went east on it this time we went west uh, there's like a mini uh, downhill set of lines there's maybe four or five and there's an uplift in the form of a set of steps which is maybe I know one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe eight steps of stairs with a little slope that you can push your bike up and then ride down. Some of the downs are technical with some fairly big drops and quite excellent. Um, I do think, though, on the Bruce Trail that we rode before we ended up on and some of the more tricky stuff, I, I literally have smoked my third mech hanger this year. I... I don't know what's going on. I, I, I've always like gone through one a year, but I'm on three, and it's only May, um, and we haven't. Well, I guess we've ridden a fair bit, but um, so yeah. I noticed on the mech there was a ding, and then when I was riding at Centennial today, which is Sunday, I went to push it up into the high gear, and it's like, nope it's gonna go into your spokes so i just looked and then yep yeah, sure enough so i swapped swapped the hanger um so now everything's running smooth again or smoothish uh so yeah so yeah niagara we ditched the hard stuff which was the kind of blacks and well the blacks uh and then we got on the red trail which is a long trail that kind of I guess it's the easier one, but it's not for novices. You'll be like charging along on the um, sort of widest trail and then you suddenly hit rock slabs. And then the rock slabs have got like grooves and ditches and dents. And then there's some fairly like, you know, like rolls almost where you kind of go down a foot and a half and then back up a foot and a half. And if you've got enough momentum, you can get up the other side. But if you haven't, you can't. And it, if you don't know what you're doing, then you're just going to stop dead. Um, as I did in one, going too slowly. And then just did a classic, like, fork dive. And uh, didn't go over the bars, but did end up a bit tangled up. So, yeah. So, anyway, we did the long trail that goes out towards the west. No, sorry. We did the long trail that goes out towards the east. All along the Niagara Ridge uh, from Kingsman Road and it was excellent we did pretty much all the way to the end um, but I then discovered there's another little trail you can get on at the end of that trail that takes you to another little bike park which you guess you could start at but um, yeah you could easily do a full day's riding uh, around there and from that Kingsman place and 
you could kind of do the little downhill bits then you could do the long run out come back on the more technical stuff you could do the little bike park as well um you could you could kind of make a day of it i think quite easily around there um and then if you were feeling really ambitious and wanted a really long day you could actually link that whole thing up to short hills and then go and do the short hills trails as well which yeah would be a long day and a lot of climbing but it could be fun um and it's funny because there's a few people I'd like to bring out onto the Bruce because it's brutal. Like the grabby rocky slabs that just chew mechs. It's like it's it's weird the way it kind of you you kind of get through it. You know, there's like loads of pedal strikes and scratches on the rocks and fair play to Nuke Proof stamp pedals. No, not Nuke Proof. Crank Brothers stamp pedals. Mine have had such a hammering over the last year. Um, I'm I'm amazed. I've done one rebuild. I replaced all the bearings in them last year, and I think they'll stand another rebuild, but probably not fourth. <laughs> um, they're a bit smoked, or they will be. Uh, but you know, it's almost a consumable set of uh, pedals. I think. Um, so yeah, so. Niagara yesterday and then we went to uh, the Humber River in the city today and found pheasant backs, a couple of old ones but some pretty choice young ones so they will find themselves either in the freezer or in soup and we will probably talk a bit more about pheasant backs uh, in the next episode. Um, and then today after that I didn't do much and then felt that, you know, it's probably going to be Tuesday before I get to ride again, so I decided to go back to Centennial. I turned up and there was a camper van with, like, trees on the side of it, so that made me think there was going to be some pro mountain bikers hanging out, but there wasn't. Um, it was a guy with his dog uh, who was quite friendly. They were just kind of chilling out, so I spoke to them briefly, and then I did the normal ride I do at Centennial so I did the beginner loop halfway then I did the center loop halfway and I did the west loop or the furthest loop or the purple one all the way and then did the other bit of the yellow and then did the blue the way I came in which I don't normally do and then did the shortcut which is like a steep downhill thing um, and I recorded it all because I thought I'd do a video for the weekend um, just a little idea I've got that I might do a bit more on as in I have an idea for a little video project that's longer but I thought I'd do a short one to see how that goes so that's what I'm going to do I might even do a bit of voiceover so so yeah so I did a 40 minute ride at Centennial which is about 5 miles um, I realized my mech hanger was bent. It's good, they've got a work stand there, so I just changed that before I drove back. So I'm good to go for Tuesday, and I am now, I don't know what time it is, 25 minutes to 8. I am just picking my way back into the city, and then I think it's an Austin Powers evening, so I wonder if that's allowed on a podcast to say Austin Powers evening or not hmm I have to think about that anyway um, so yeah so just driving back into the city I will ride again Tuesday we will probably do a joint podcast episode next week uh, like I said this week just we were just run out of time so it's just a short one for me uh, the weather, so all the trails we've ridden are dry after all the rain that we had last weekend and last week. Um, the Centennial, King City, like our north of the city, is in excellent condition. There's no wet anywhere. Um, nothing, yeah, all perfect uh, apart from the sand. Niagara was fairly good, I think. On the whole, it's okay, but there's big pod puddles and pools still, um, and lots of black flies flying around, which didn't bother me, but uh, yeah. Uh, also, we had maybe four or five ticks yesterday, not in us, but around us or on clothing made us both a little bit paranoid about uh, running into ticks so 
if you are out uh, just keep an eye out for ticks would be my suggestion um, if you're riding this week based on the weather I think the ground conditions are perfect um, we're definitely going to be out next weekend not sure where uh, I may I may not I was thinking I might do something on Wednesday might um, Wednesday on Tuesday I might record my ride I might actually record the riding the whole ride and uh, put that up as an episode but I will see anyway I'm just crawling into the city probably gonna start getting looked at by the police so I'm gonna say goodbye until next time thanks for listening